The tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. To run a fleet of tugs, you have to be prepared to take on any job. One of the most difficult and dangerous was handling the big naval munition ships. On this day, I remember Hercules had towed the naval tramper Krakatoa in from the base up the coast. Usually a familiar and safe routine. But it had been a rough journey, real rough. And as if that wasn't enough, he had to suffer Blue Nose, the officious naval tug. Attention! Attention! Hercules! Attention, nothing. I'm finished here, old darling. Moving out. And uh, you don't know to let check things out. Check all you like, sweetheart. I'm needed elsewhere. You're under Navy jurisdiction. Obey orders and wait to let me my inspection. I am under jurisdiction. Captain Stars, a little wake washer like you, doesn't tell me what to do. Aha! We'll see about that, lady. Hercules, here, wait. Stay right where you are. There's an order. Hello. Upstart civilian. I'll get you in a naval convoy one day and I'll teach you a lesson or two. And then you'll know what orders are all about. Yuck, that blue nose. He's orders mad. Orders come before common sense in naval terms. Uh, I better Barney with him too, Hercules. Keep those boys in line, he shouts. As if I haven't done this job every naval exercise. Report to me when you're finished, he says. Thinks I'm too old for this work, he does. Hey, hey, do you know what they're doing? They're loading munitions and taking fuel aboard the same ship. <laughs> Dangerous seamanship, that is. Well, oh, Jamie, my dear, I'm going to have me a bit of a rest at the coal depot. It's been a hard tow and I feel a bit low. Yeah, oh, oh. Keep them in line. Straight as a row of marines. I'll check them after I've done my inspection. We should work together, not fight each other. Never fought when I was a young tug. Ahoy now! Ahoy now! You! Oi! You! Red thing! Collect some fire barges and proceed to the fire practice area now! I'm standing by, waiting for orders to proceed to the old dock. And those orders are cancelled, and I'm in charge. Fire practice now. And I don't leave it till I tell you. Do I make myself clear? And now move, fast as a flame, fast as a flame! Aye, aye, sir. Right, Starfleet, we're on servicing naval manoeuvres again. OJ's laying marker boys in the old dock area. Remember, no shortcuts. Use the official entry. You all know the Navy. Don't grumble, it's a good regular contract. Just get on with it. Your loads are munitions. You're lucky. Z-Stack's fleet have got the explosives. <laughs> so give them a wide berth. Make myself clear, warrior, no high wakes. I don't make high wakes, Captain Star. No, oh, sir. Not much. Daily garbage detail for you. Oh, this means we'll have blue nose faffing around us. I can't stand that tug. What a terrible bore he is with his orders, isn't he? You do the garbage detail, then. <laughs> Me? How can you suggest such a thing? Let's talk from you, Top Hat, or you will find yourself on garbage. <laughs> <laughs> that is not funny. It would ruin my image. Okay, crew, stow it. Top Hat. Yeah. Car floats for you, and don't argue, just go. Do I have to earn a living with this motley crew? Well, Captain Star, we've just about had enough of Top Hat's insults. Aye. He's more trouble than he's worth. Aye. And you said that wasn't very much, didn't you, Ten Cents, eh? <laughs> I said screw it. Ten Cents, go to Lucky's, pick up the brand new Starline oil barge, get it filled and take it to the naval yard. Right, sir. Well said, Ten Cents. He's a pain in the funnel. <laughs> the way he moves his head about, I'd say he's a pain in the neck. <laughs> That's right. That's Sunshine, right. go to the canal, pick up Mighty Mo. They finished the work on the bridge. Take him home. All right, I right. good. I like Mighty Mo. Big Mac, 
Thanks for winning us the steel contract. That's okay, sir. You pick up the last girder barge, then back here. The Z-Stacks were upriver at the munitions factory. They were there to collect explosives for the Navy. It was a very dangerous operation, but worth a great deal of money to Captain Zero, who had put Zoran in charge. Now listen, you two. Towing this lot's the tricky bit. Zack, move off first. All right. Go slow and don't take any nonsense from the star mob. Show them explosives don't scare us. And if they come too close, just... Blow them up! Yeah, but with your hooter dummy. No silly games, okay? You don't have to be that brave. Okay, Zorin. Sir. And watch out for the naval twerp, Blue Nose. Your job is to deliver that barge directly to the naval tramp of Krakatoa. If Blue Nose gives you different orders, ignore him and refer him to me. Just keep it steady. Keep flying that danger flag. Zebedee, next. That Blue Nose told me he was in charge and that I must obey orders. You are mine, remember that. Well, remember that, Talon, sir. Eat your heart out, Star Stacks. This trip's worth 20 garbage barges, ferry trips, or girder toes. <laughs> if we don't get blown up. Right. Easy does it. You're in my way and you're idle. Hey, don't make like idle tugs. So move and move fast. That is an order. Oi! Oi! Oh, you naval twit. You scraped a brand new barge deliberately. I gave an order to move out of my way. This harbour is the most undisciplined I've ever worked in. If I order you to jump, you jump. That barge is conscripted for a naval purpose. And if I want to scrape it, I will. I'll scrape you too if you don't get to your post on time. I'm always on time, and you know it. Uh, you'd better be, or I'll have you clapped in dry dock. It's about time you fancy stars started leaving up to your name. Now, get some steam in your boiler and start turning your screw. Mobilisation, that is what I want. Mobilisation! Hey. Oi! Oi, you, come back here! Oi! You just scraped it again! Oi! Z-Stacks are bad enough, but Bluno, oh, he's something else. Night came down fast. Dock lights helped Big Mickey transfer explosives to the naval tramper Krakatoa. The Z-Stacks were moored off. All were shot of their dangerous loads except Zoran, now being unloaded. One last-minute slip-up could mean disaster. I'll be glad to get rid of this lot. Attention! Attention! Oh no, here we go. Hey, come alongside! Move aside! You with a circle on your funnel, move! Ain't what mean me, mister, do you? Yeah, you, mister. Move that barge. My load's fast. You shouldn't move a barge that's being unloaded. Get pension off, old timer. This is my pool, eh? See what goes? Nah. Go and draw your pension, OJ, you bastard. <laughs> Shut it, the paddle is right. We're not moving that barge, mister. I want this fuel unloaded now. Wait, you, Gorky, drop your rook into this baby. Hey, leave the munitions right now. It's a brave tug all this shawl crane around. <laughs> yeah, nobody tells Big Mickey what to do. Well, I do, and I'm in charge, so obey orders. Yeah, what's going on? The schedule says I'm next. Uh, don't you start, laddie. Wait, your turn. Watch him. Yeah, I'm coming alongside. This barge has to be unloaded. I've got orders too. Whose orders? Captain Starr's orders. I'm coming alongside. Ha <laughs> ha, we'll see about that. Now, just move aside and let me through. Blue Nose, stay back. That barge is unsafe. Do not give me orders. If I want to move, I move. He told you to move that. Now, look what's happened there. You dummy. Oh, no. Start engines, quick. I'm in charge. Stay where you no are. No way. I know what's on that barge. Get clear. The whole thing's going to blow. Stay where you are. Emergency, emergency. Clear the area immediately. They still ain't obey order. Move out, move out. Save yourselves. Ten cents. Cut your barge rope and pull free. My barge is clear, but Bruno's is blocking the way. I know what to do. Stay still and do penny. Oh, come on, Bruno's. Cast off. Let's get out of here. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Hey, come! Try harder, go on! My engine's cut out! OJ, okay. his engine's out, I'm going into hell! Don't be a fool, Ten Cents! Get out of there! He's right, move! He's got himself into this! Leave him! It's too dangerous, Ten Cents! You're coming with me, Blue Nose! Keep going, Ten Cents! Keep going! 
The trap was on fire! It'll blow when he's to God! Do you move me? They've got me my orders and they ought to say they have looting fuel out. You can load all you want after I get you out of here. Hey, OJ, what shall I do with him? Put him at the back. Out the way. We don't want any more of his orders. Why? This is a mutiny. Take me back immediately. Obey orders. Obey orders. Orders is orders. <laughs> Big Mickey's talk is going up. Move out, everyone! It's going over! Here we are! I'm Jim Clear! Just hope Mickey gets it right, otherwise he'll sink us all. Big Mickey! Oh, he's done it. He's falling sideways. Too close for comfort. It took real skill to make that move. He saved us all for sure. But the fire's getting out of control. Yeah, they the siren for sure. The fire tug will reach us any minute. Just wish it were here now. Fire tug won't be much good. Look at that trapper! Someone's having a dockside celebration. No, oh, no. If there was a party, I would have been invited. Perhaps they don't need a long-necked highbrow. <laughs> <laughs> Very droll. Certainly wouldn't want low lives like you there. What's, what's that? Emergency! Emergency! Get them tied off and follow on top hat. Might need all hands. Yeah, follow on top hat. Fire at your dock. I'd love to join you, but these two are in a right state. Always our fault, eh, Frank? Never is, I eh, Eddie? He could take us along. Not to see a fire. The only fire you're going to see, I can tell you this for a fact, is the one I will set under your tracks if you don't get a move on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the aft orders blown now, the fire will really spread. I feel so helpless. God, there were really big explosions. There's more to come yet. <laughs> Just you wait. She was nearly fully loaded before that naval twit arrived. What's on board will rip her apart. Isn't there anything we can do? Like what, dummy? Anyway, you've done your bit. Just sit back and watch. But it's spreading. And that means Papa, the dockside will go up. You're right, Ten Cents. Come on, everyone. Shout and warn Papa. Fully loaded. I must try and get it out to sea. Don't do it. Stay back. If that blows, it'll take you with it. What's that? What's what? That. Yes, guys, be careful. It's a red sky, red sky at night. Sailors delight. The sun went down ages ago. And it's north, not west. Fuck! <laughs> It's really hot. Uh, there's no chance of getting a line on it. What does he think he's doing? Don't know, but rather him than me. <laughs> better push it. I've got to get it out to sea. Oh, uh -huh. it's about time you turned up. Give ten cents a hand, he's burning up. Get that thing out of here, quick. What do you think I was doing? I'm not here to keep warm, you know. You not stay back. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of moving anyway, mister. Who's responsible for this then? Him. Behind me, Blue Dolls! Oh, him. Him who gives all the orders. Well, he won't be giving any more now. He's in shock. Sunshine, get the fire barge and start dousing that building. It's going to blow any second. Not me weird, sir. We've got to try and stop the fire from spreading. 
I'm taking this out to sea, sunshine. Take care. What's those flames back there? Hey, what you've got there looks far more dangerous than me. I had that's a bomb, man. Just leave it, will you? I'll leave. be okay. Cut the chat. Sunshine, get that barge working. Steer it between the flames and swing it round. Yes, yeah. Fire, fire. Just in time, warrior. Use your fire hose on that barge and the oil yard. Quick! Listen, right away, sir. I'll do me best, sir. Huh? <laughs> there's two things wrong with that order, mister. Warrior don't move fast. His lights may be on, but there's no one there. <laughs> At least he's in there, Zoran. Hey, the building's on fire now. Oh, I, I can't seem to stop it. It's oh. Just keep playing water on it, sunshine! Stop the spring! Stop the spring! Warrior, get out of there! It's going to blow! I can control it, sir. Don't worry. Well... I've got to look after Papa. He's a mighty valuable and good friend. Got to look after your friends, you know. OK, warrior. Here, Zoran, give me a hand with this fire barge. We've got to try and save that trapper. <laughs> Can't see this barge doing much good, mister. <laughs> but you're in charge. Go on, Zoran. Show him who's a real hero. This is getting too dangerous. <laughs> the tank's blistering badly. I know it's starting to smoke. It's gonna go any second. I've gotta get out of here. Ten cents! It's ten cents! The oil barge! I must have Stay put, sunshine! You're needed here. But he might need help! Stay where you are! Move off, Soren. She's gonna kill over any moment now. There's nothing more we can do. Stand clear, everyone! Stand clear! She's going! Yeah, that's nothing compared with what could have happened. If Sunshine and Warrior hadn't contained the fire, it could have easily spread to the city. Well done, all of you. Oh dear. Seems I'm too late to save the day. What a pity. <laughs> well, well, well. Get a drift of that, will you, lads? Top hat, all dressed up and nowhere to go. <laughs> yeah, look at me, nice. <laughs> Ten cents should have been back by now. We must all salute a very brave Tug, who saved us from... Hey, I know that whistle! It's... it's Ten Cents! Ten Cents, what a mess! What happened? Well, just after I started reversing, it blew to smithereens. Nearly took me with it. Lights went out, water in the engine. I didn't know if I could make it back, but thanks to Grampus, I did. Yeah, you're the luckiest tug around, lad. And probably the bravest, too. Well, I've been used for a few strange jobs before, but never have I brought in a switcher and taken away a twitcher. <laughs> the accident was caused by a few hasty words and bad temper. Orders may be orders, but they don't supersede common sense. Blue Nose was right in his way, as were Ten Cents and O.J. right in theirs. But common sense from all three would have prevented the fire starting. Always respect fire. If you don't, it will destroy you, your surroundings, and your friends.
The tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. Dender rocks was dangerous to shipping before they placed lightships there to mark them. Lily lightship was special. She was equipped with a loud foghorn and a bright light which could be seen for miles and miles around. I had the contract to keep her ship shape and shining, which kept both ten cents and sunshine busy with the fuel barge. Without this fuel, her light would go out. Oh well, that's it, Lily. Now you can show us the way home. What would we do without you, eh? Nice to be appreciated, boys. <laughs> You'll be in the regatta parade, I suppose. I never see any of it from out here. Uh, pity that. We'll stick a light and fog on sunshine and anchor him here. <laughs> so you can. Hey, do you mind? I'm in the parade too, you know. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, must try and get back in. Aye, right, bye, Lily. Uh, we'll tell you all about it. Bye, boys. Hope to see you soon. Later that night, a thick fog came down. As she was thinking about all the fun they were going to have, Lily thought she heard something. It was the throb of a tramp steamer rapidly approaching her through the dense fog. She sounded her horn again and again, but there was no reply. Then, suddenly, out of the fog, the tramper appeared. With a sickening thud, it glanced her side, cutting a huge hole in it. The tramper sped towards Demder Rocks. It was going too fast to avert certain disaster. The tramper tore into the rocks, rested for a moment, then with an unhappy sigh slid backwards and sunk rapidly. Lily was now in a perilous condition. Water had seeped into her power room and her light fizzled out. All she could do now was wait for help. Dawn arrived. Lily looked around anxiously, but there was no one to help her. Suddenly she saw lots of bubbles on the surface quite close to her. It was Grampus, the naval submarine. Mayday! Grampus! Mayday! What the? Lily, you're... you're... I'm sinking, Grampus, sinking. Please help me, please. Nasty hole, Lily. Right on your waterline. If I try to tow you in, you'll ship more water and sink. Well, go and get help, quick. Hmm. Just a minute. I've a better idea. If I can plug it with my nose, it might do the trick. No, you'll damage yourself. Don't worry about me, Lily. It's going to work. I'm stopping the bulk of the water getting in. You've already shipped quite a bit in here. I'm pumping out my ballast tanks to keep us afloat till real help comes. Oh, thank you, Grampus. Thank you. Help was indeed on its way. A small fishing boat had seen everything and was now speeding towards the port to inform the Coast Guard. Back at the Star Dock, preparations were afoot for the festival. Top Hat was amusing everyone with his antics when suddenly they were interrupted by a shrill whistle from the Coast Guard messenger. There's an emergency. Lily Lightship is sinking. The captain is correct. She is sinking. The Zeros can't help. So no, address okay. yourselves to the problem and get organised, OK? That's it. You'll have to forget the festivities for a while. I say, is it an outrage? This is an emergency job. I see. OJ, collect Mighty Mo. Right, you Ten are, cents. Get a timber barge from Lucky's. Right, sir. <laughs> That's all we need, an interfering star. Sit, sunk, block him. Yeah, boss. Your bit, boss. Make wait, you two. Zoran, there's an emergency. Always is with you. 
nearly sinking. Look, I need a timber barge fast. Yeah, oh, that one there will do. What? <laughs> no, it won't. It's being unloaded for us. I'm taking it anyway. Complain to Captain Star if you want to. I'll do worse than that. I'm reporting you to Captain Zero. Despite the serious nature of Lily's accident, when Ten Cents arrived, he could hardly believe his eyes. It looked very funny to him. Oh, it looks like a team fish rammed you, Lily. Very funny. It's okay, Grampus. Ten Cents will pull you out. Just hang on a while longer. Make it soon. My head's giving out. Now listen carefully. I'm going to lift Lily a bit. Ten Cents, attach a line to Grampus. And on command, pull him out. Right, mighty mo. Okay, Grampus. On the count of three, ten cents will pull you free. One, two, three! Oh, I oh, 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 really jammed oh, in! You can do it, ten cents! Oh, 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 he's moving now! Yay! Oh, that's it! Yay, yeah, it's clear! Yay! 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you, Grampus, my hero. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! It's not over yet. She's badly holed. And I don't think we can do much at sea, even with the timber. Lily, we'll have to take you to Lucky's yard. Ten cents, you too, mighty Mo. I'll pull her on a bowline. Grampus, you better have a quick inspection as well, just in case. Oh, I'm all right. Just a bit scraped, that's all. Psst. This might be your lucky day, Lily. <laughs> you might get to see the regatta. Shh! Well, everyone might think I did it deliberately. Whilst the rescue of Lily Lightship was going on, Warrior was surprised to find Jack the Grappler, the garbage scooper, basking in the sun instead of working on the heaps of steaming garbage behind him. Morning, Jack. Nice day for garbage. There's no garbage today. What do you mean, no garbage today? There's heaps behind you. No garbage today. But I've got to have garbage. You know, I've got to have garbage. His lordship needs garbage. We all need garbage. It's a festival day or something, so there's no garbage. Is that you, warrior? Uh, yes, sir. It's me, sir. Have you got Lord Stinker with you? He's here, sir. Empty and willing to work, sir. There's no garbage today, right? Well, uh, I can see uh, heaps, uh, piles. Stacks, uh, mountains of garbage. You see no garbage, warrior Jack will tell you there is no garbage, eh, Jack? There's no garbage. Repeat after me, warrior, there ain't no garbage. There ain't no garbage. Good. That is settled. Instead, today is Municipal Garbage Day, a festival of garbage. Hey. Municipal Garbage Day falls on the same day as the big city festival. So, to join in all the fun, we, the Garbage Corporation, are going to make our own barge float. No flowers or fancy bits, just prime, colourful garbage. I don't believe this. This is going to take a very long time, so I'd cut your engine if I was you. Must get started now. Heaps to do. Things get stranger and stranger around here. Suppose it is festival day. Bye, Lily. I've got to go and help Big Mac now. Good luck with the repairs. Thank you, Ten Cents. Enjoy the regatta. Oh, yeah, you bet. Looks like you might see the festivities, Lily. They said you're not too badly damaged. You'll probably be ready tonight. Ooh, I hope they take a bit longer. Then I'll definitely be able to stay. You're far too important to navigation. Come on, Grampus. You better move out or the Navy will be after you. Don't worry, they know where I am. I think. Ten Cents was quick to find Big Mac and told him all about Grampus and Lily as he went about his work. They were suddenly interrupted by a shrill blast from Blue Nose, the naval tug. Ahoy there! Ahoy! You there! What do you want? We can't stop, I'm afraid. There's loads urgent. I quite understand, old man. But we are looking for one of our submarines. He is called Grampus. Yeah, I ain't seen him since we left Lucky's Yard. He saved Billy really Lightship from sinking, so he's probably taking a well-deserved break somewhere. Ah, oh, that may be so, but he is one of ours, you know. He is not a civilian plaything. Okay, Blue Nose, that's enough. We haven't seen him, so make wake, okay? My work's important. Oh, your work's important? <laughs> what you need, laddie, is a lesson in naval discipline. Aha, uh -huh. what has me here? When... Oh, what the... <laughs> <laughs> They're going to blow me up today. Huh? That is correct. What? 
But he's been a hero out there with Lily, and you lot are going to blow him up. That's some kind of thanks. Ah, oh, you civilian lot may not understand this, but us naval types know when we are past it. Instead of rotting in some breaker's yard, we volunteer us for gunnery practice. Targets, you know. But that's not fair. He's still a useful submarine. He does lots of things for us. For you, maybe. For us, he's old and out of date. Now, I can't stand around here join with you all day. Maywark's important. Big Mac will understand that, won't you, sir? Mm. Come on, Grappus. Back to base. Target practice at 1,400 hours. Yes. Grampus! Grampus, don't go! Dive and hide! It's no use. Sid catch up with me again somewhere. Thanks for all the fun we had together. Bye, ten cents. Bye. Bye. Listen, we can't let this happen. I'll handle the barges. You go off and find OJ. Tell him about Grampus. He'll know what to do. We'll save our mate Grampus if it's the last thing we do. Right, Big Mac. Ten cents rushed off to find OJ. Every minute was valuable now, especially as a plan had to be devised. He used every ounce of steam to speed across the port and was soon at the star dock. OJ, they're gonna blow up Grampus! Who is? Blue Notes in the Navy. He said so at 1400 hours today. I'll do something, OJ. Big Mac said you'd know what to do. <laughs> know what to do? <laughs> I know just what to do, but we'll need to move fast and also be a bit brave. Come on, let's go. Topat, don't loiter. We need you as well. Oh, really? How inconvenient. First Lily, now Grampus. It's just too, too much. I'll never make the show on time. O.J. explained his plan to them both. Ten cents was sent to Lucky's yard and once again had to confront the snarling Zoran. Not again. What is it this time? See this barge with logs on it? Will we need it? Oh, I know. Captain Star needs it with toothpicks, eh? No, I need it. Yeah, he needs it all right. <laughs> Listen, I'll give it to him. You take that and his two items of theft report to Captain Zero. I told you I don't care. You will when he gives Captain Star an earful. Yeah, you bet you will. He'll sink you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm taking it anyway. Oi, just leave it there. Never knew ten cents is into daylight robbery, did you? Get on with your work, or there'll be daylight robbery out of your pay packets. Oh, no, really. No, that is the plan. It'll work, but it may be dangerous. Yes, well, I don't know if we should interfere, really. But we must. He's our friend. Friends are valuable, man. All right, then. One for all and all for one. Now, let's get on with it. I don't want to miss the regatta, especially as I'm leading huh? it. Now, stop whinging, Top Hat. You'll be back in time. Ah, ten cents. Good. Big Mac, now th that is the log barge. Ten cents, put a big white flag at each end of it. Hurry, time's running out. Roy. Well, Grampus, you've been a very good submarine. Ha oh, ha, we're all sad to see you go. But as you know, the Navy's got no further use for such a small vessel. Proud to have been of service, sir. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like some time to think. Oh, very well. And a good luck, lady. If the modern Navy's gonna be like him, I'd be better off down with the fishes. What? I see. Why are they parading out here? They're going to be in the line of fire! Stay clear! It's the destroyer warning us we're in the danger zone! Ignore it! What do you mean? And get a direct hit! No, thank you very much! And the flicker of fire! Keep going, Top Hat! The more of us here, the safer we are! Get clear! They're about to start firing! Yes, my... Grampus, just do as I say! Give him a line! Ten cents! Oh, right, oh, joy! Big Mac will leave the barge in your place. Let's hope all they see from that distance is the target flags. Right, keep moving! The Navy's not going to like this. Just leave me here or you'll all get into trouble. Please, don't do it!
at last. Now, where do we hide Krampus? Oh, no, here's that awful Zorn and his cronies. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this in? What's going on? Clear off, Zoran. It's our business. No, it's not. Deal's a deal. Ten cents said he let us in on it. No, I never. You lot are up to something. And anyway, you owe us for two barges of timber. Move aside, Top Hat, and let me see. Mind your own business, Zoran. I am. This is my business. I'm looking for my timber. Well, it is near. Just back off and leave us alone. All we've got here is our float for the show. <laughs> Some float, hey? Stealing government property, eh? Nice little number, boys. Very nice. That's the third crime to report. Captain Zero will tell the Navy... Move it, Zoran, old boy. Uh, only a game, you understand, Hercules? I know all about your game, Zoran. Beat it and take your driftwood with you. Oh, I'm going to. You'll hear about it from the Navy. Don't worry. Yes, I'm off as well. I should far too much time already. All right, my dears. I don't think I'll wait around for answers. I want to be in the show today, too. You can tell me all later. Now, where's Warrior got to? Warrior? Warrior? Yes, sir? Uh, let's do a quick check. Barge completed with colourful oil drums and streamers? Yes. Is Lordship spick and span? Yes. Jack wearing colourful hat? Yes. Good. Well, that is it. I just don't believe this. What are they going to say when they see this junk heap? <laughs> well, I like the banner. Municipal garbage wishes you all a happy day. <laughs> hey, warrior, you can go now. The regatta's about to start. Just join it and be proud of the Municipal Garbage Corporation, all right? On your way now and good luck. Thank you, sir. It's been uh, um, a most enjoyable day. <laughs> nice job there. Very nice job. I can enjoy my day now. Good luck, Warrior. Hello, everyone. This is the Princess Alice welcoming you to the annual regatta. Thank you. Now you know the drill. When the cannon fires, the parade will start. This year, Top Hat from the Starfleet will lead off. Enjoy yourselves. There goes Top Hat, followed by shipmates OJ, Big Mac and Warrior, all towing splendid barges. They're followed by Zack from the Zero Fleet, towing the Corporation Lightship. Here comes Sip and Zug, the Zero Switchers, towing a new upriver breakfast, wood and bananas. <laughs> following them comes a colourful group. Ten cents and sunshine towing Little Ditcher and Sally Seaplane. Hello, Sally. And Hercules just by himself. Never mind, Hercules. Maybe next year, okay? Coming from the famous Bridge Cafe is Zoran towing the loudest barge of the day. Nice music, guys. Very nice music. Well done, everyone. You all look splendid. The Princess Alice considers this to be the best year yet. This means, and hold it, yes, that you've all won a prize. OK, OK, thanks to you all. Now, enough parading. Let's get this party going. When nighttime came, O.J. gathered all the other star tugs around him outside Lucky's yard. None of them really knew what was going on. All right, Lele, do your bit. Hello, boys. They repaired me in record time so I could see the regatta. You all look splendid. Oh, thanks what are you. you? Oh, it's Krampus and he's got the star flag. They didn't blow me up today. The Navy sold me to Captain Star, so I'm one of you now. Oh, so well, so well, 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 well,